picked a really nice day to do this. Can you guys hear the, the rain? It's pouring. It has been so dry here. The earth is like cracking and it's been terrible for hay, terrible for everything. So it's pouring and I'm thrilled. This is another one of those videos that I probably should have made six months ago. I've touched on this before, but when I take in a new pet, generally speaking, it's not like my immediate instinct to share it. There are exceptions and I feel like I tend to post them without really any backstory, like on Instagram or TikTok. But to make an official, let me introduce you to this animal video, I tend to take my time. I want to get to know the animal. I want to educate myself about the animal. I want them to settle in before I'm like sticking cameras in their faces. There's probably always an animal or two or seven or 30 or 40 that you guys don't know about yet. <laughs> in this case, if you follow my other social media, you've probably seen them and you just don't even know it. This was back in October, November. It's been months. Hi, buddy. Okay. Oh, God. I can't lift a band over anymore. Smile for the camera, Elvin. Talking about parrots. A viewer actually contacted me. She and her father had five parrots that they wanted to find a better living situation for. Four Amazon parrots and one blue and gold macaw. Basically she had seen like our outdoor spaces, knew that I worked from home, was always home, but through a lot of, I think, consideration, deliberation, um, and probably some sadness on their end because they'd had these birds for a long, long time. They came to the conclusion that we might be able to provide a happier home. I guess. Having said that, yeah, these birds were getting um, like an amazing diet and uh, you can just tell they were they were well cared for birds. This is one of those situations where like life changes and birds are a long commitment. It's hard to know, especially as you are getting older, you're going to be able to fulfill all of their needs, which are so vast. And so I think in some situations, um, animal rehoming, relocation takes a huge amount of selflessness and love. So yes, we corresponded for a while, talked it over with Ben. Of course, at the time we knew that we were going to be having a baby. That actually was not anything that deterred us for even a second though, <laughs> which is frustrating because we have taken in so many pets since finding out that we were pregnant. Bearing that in mind and then seeing people that get rid of pets that they've potentially had for years because they find out that they're gonna have a kid. That just kind of bothers me more now than it did before. It's nothing to do with this video. So without hesitation, pretty much, we said, yes. I've talked a lot about how passionate I am about bird rescue in particular, since getting involved in it in just like a little way at first, I really want to be a place for these birds to land. It's just so, so many of them constantly being flipped, basically. Flipped not only because they live such a long time and it's hard for people to accommodate decades and decades with a pet, but also flipped because they're really loud. And after so many years with this screaming animal in your house, it can be <laughs> a lot. Their dietary needs super expensive. One of the most expensive animals I have. They waste a ton of their food and they need a huge variety of food. So they go through it so quickly. In a home setting, they make a huge mess of it. They're really destructive. They love to chew up things. They're also not necessarily the nicest. That's case by case, of course, but in my experience, there has been one bird that hasn't attempted no, and you know what? There may have been times when even she got a little nippy. Yeah, they're just super intelligent and they're kind of being asked to live in situations with people, with humans in homes and cages that are never going to be right for them. They're never gonna fulfill their needs truly, never going to completely satisfy them, make them happy. And so they're so smart, the frustrations, whatever, they tend to be aggressive. That also makes them very challenging for the average pet owner. So for all of these reasons, <laughs> I was determined to create spaces for rescue birds. If you haven't seen the videos, we 
made these giant apiaries outside. Spent a ton of money and a ton of time having these things transported from a different state and then like setting them up ourselves. Every time I look at them and remember what we went through to get them there, it's, <laughs> I don't know what we were thinking. We were crazy. They're incredible. These birds are so happy. I love it. I love it. So we have those two and now we have created a few more smaller aviaries as well. It affords birds the opportunity to live as much like birds are meant to while still being in captivity because they obviously can't be released. They also are still getting the social element that's so crucial, crucial for them, not only with each other, but also with us because all day long, I am outside and we are talking back and forth to each other. I try to go in there as much as I can. It's pretty dangerous. There's at least one, if not two birds in each aviary that hates my guts and will like dive bomb me to try to bite me. <laughs> that doesn't stop me. <laughs> it's just, you know, risks. I'm, I'm hoping what we've done is taken the life that they are used to, which is being more in a cage environment, being in a home, getting toys, getting human interaction, kind of smashed it with, with the life they would have had had they been wild birds. Part of the reason this video took so long is because when we first took them in, it was winter time. Our aviaries are outside. Um, we do heat them and completely wrap them for drafts during the winter, but still you don't wanna put a bird that's been used to living in a more controlled environment um, outside during the coldest months of the year. So we did have to keep them in their cages in the mammal house several months. And it's only been in the last, it's been a little over a month now, um, that the weather's been consistently nice enough where we were finally able to put them out into the aviaries. That was also a process in and of itself because basically how it's ended up, one of the large aviaries is a macaw aviary. And the other one is now an Amazon aviary. Umbrella cockatoos have a smaller one. African greys have a smaller one. <laughs> Kaik has a small one. Some other birds that will be in a different video have a smaller one. But the two main ones, those are the birds we have the most of, so they get those two large ones. And there were already macaws in one, and there was already an Amazon in one. So we had to introduce them all. They've all been doing amazing now. So this has been like 10 minutes of just talking that you guys don't care about because you just want to see the birds. The blue and gold is with the macaws. Two of the four Amazons are in the Amazon aviary. The other two we noticed, one in particular has arthritis, pretty bad. The other one, it's kind of just starting. And so neither of them like to move around a lot and they both prefer their ledges over like perches because curling their, their little toes is painful. We've been in the process of building them an outdoor space that keeps that in mind. So there's going to be a lot of you know, flat bar spaces. Um, there's gonna be ramps. There's not gonna be any huge height differences from one perch or ledge to the next. That way, if they do fall, it's not a far fall. So we've been designing that. Right now you're going to meet the Amazons and the macaw. You too. Okay. Okay, so these are the two new ones out here. Um, this is the loving cat. Hi, sweet girl. Yeah. Yeah. Is the new blue and gold in this one. And um, also an attacker, but um, not... Oh, sorry, I'm out of peanuts. I'm sorry. Yeah, also an attacker for sure, but not as bad. Yeah, well, I say that when he tries to bite the camera. <laughs> he will not, like Maverick will actually fly at me to attack me. He'll mostly, he'll mostly just move away. <laughs> Except for right now, he's being so mean. Hey, you're being very rude. But he's done really well with the other birds. Of course, this lady right here runs the show. Right? She's been with us a long time. Hi. And this is, yeah. This is her cage. This is my life. This is your life with birds if you try to keep them in your house. Keep that in mind.
Hello. <laughs> oh yeah?